We're in the park, the perfect place to spend an afternoon. Whether you're sitting, having a picnic, walking with friends, or playing football. <laughs> Sorry. But a day in the park can also be a day of danger. You could fall asleep without sun cream and get sunburned. Ooh, dangerous. Ow. You could get lost and stumble into a forest full of hungry bears. Phew, oh. danger averted. Or you could accidentally forget your money for ice cream and have to watch other people enjoying theirs. Should we play football, then? Yeah, all right, let's do penalties. Oh, hang on. I have got some money after all. I'll race you to the ice cream van. <laughs> Ooh, a minor injury. So what should you do if you sprain your ankle? A, roll around on the grass crying, I'll never compete again. B, apply something cold to the injury for no longer than 10 minutes. Or C, buy the Ankle D Sprainer 2000 and hope it works. The correct answer is B. We need to reduce the pain and the swelling with a cold compress. How's that, Zahn? Well, it's better. But I'm still not happy. I know something that'll cheer you up. Come with me. Oh! oh my ice cream! My clothes! <laughs> hey! <laughs> so remember, if you sprain your ankle, then put something cold on it for no longer than 10 minutes. And if you're worried, tell an adult. In fact, lots of injuries can be helped by putting something cold on them. It's particularly useful for sprains, strains and pulled muscles. This is because it reduces inflammation, stops swelling and can help with pain. So don't forget this cool fact. Nice ones, aren't? <laughs> Nearly half a million people come into accident and emergency every year with a sporting injury. Here's another one. Eight-year-old Mason is in accident and emergency with his mum, big sis and dad. He's not too happy, though. Because he's got a dishcloth on his leg. No, Zand, because... I hurt my ankle. Let's see it, then. My ankle's like a ball. And Mason can't bear to look. How did it happen? Check it out. Mason was trampolining and jumping as high as he could. Higher, and higher, and higher. Is that out of space? It gets worse. His cousin was on the same trampoline, going as high as he could. So guess what happened next? They left Earth orbit and flew to Mars. Out of space looks a lot of fun. Oh, hang on a minute. This doesn't look good. You're right, Zand. Here's what really happened. They smashed into each other, toppled down, and Mason twisted his ankle. Ouch. It's just a typical boy, isn't it? Good as gold. I'd be amazed if it's not broke. Here's the very man to tell you, Dr Christopher Beavis. Take a peek, Mason. You're in safe hands. Dr Beavis checks the sensations in Mason's foot, as sometimes with a bad break or bad sprain, swelling can compress the blood supply and nerves, but he's happy that they're all OK. We're going to get an X-ray just to make sure there isn't any bony damage underneath. Um, personally, I think this is a sprain at the moment, but obviously the X-ray will tell us a bit more information. So I'll get that sorted. We'll know what we're dealing with. So it's X-ray time for Mason. Although the doc thinks it's a sprain, you never can tell. That's a pretty good picture, Mason. Well done. Dr Beavis is checking the bones in Mason's foot. There's just a small fragment of bone, if you like. It isn't conclusive, but because of the symptoms and the size of his ankle, we're going to treat it like it's a clinical fracture. So the doc is treating it like a break. I hope you like the crutches, Mason. I'm kind of hoping I get crutches, so I'll be popular at school. What's he like? So we'll get you back to a fracture clinic in the next day or so. Never mind that. Yeah, what about the crutches? Does Master. he keep his weight off it? Yeah, keep his weight. We'll give him some crutches as well. We'll see how he gets on with that. Result. But wait, 
There's no guarantee you get to take the crutches because if you can't handle the crutches, mm. we can. you can handle yeah. the crutches. Yeah, okay. I've been practicing okay. Okay. for when Good. this day comes. Excuse me, practicing? That's keen. But at eight, Mason's a bit young for crutches, and even though he could do with them, first he has to prove he can use them. Not what I wanted, crutches. Not yet, you haven't. We don't really see him again once we give them to the kids, unfortunately. But, uh, but yeah, they seem to find them exciting. I'll be the second one in my school to have crutches. First one in my class. And what's so good about that? Girls. You'll have girls? I'll have all girls just going, oh, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. And I'll be like, yeah. Playing it cool, Mason. Nice. nice. But first, Mason has to take his test. They're not taking my crutches away. Join us later to see if he passes the test.